Creating a blank database is a good option if you have specific design requirements or have existing data that you need to accommodate or incorporate. Open MS Access. In the Home tab or New tab, click on Blank Database. If an existing database is already open, for creating a new blank database, click on File. In Home or New tab, click on Blank Database. Access suggests a file name for your database in the file name box. You can change the file name if you want. Try changing it to MyTestDB. To save the database in a different folder from the one displayed below the file name box, click on File Image, browse to the folder in which you want to save it and then click on OK. To create the database, click on Create. Access creates a database mytestdb.accdb in the selected location. Access creates the database with an empty table named Table1 and opens it in Datasheet view. The column ID is automatically created. The data type of the field is auto number. The cursor is placed in the first empty cell in click to add column. Begin typing to add data. When you add a new column to the data sheet, a new field is defined in the table. The table structure is created while you enter data. Access automatically sets each field's data type based on the data that you enter. If you do not want to enter data in table 1 currently, click on Close. If you made any changes to the table, Access prompts you to save the changes. Click on S to save the changes. Click on No to discard them. Click on Cancel to leave the table open. If you close table 1 without saving it at least once, Access deletes the table even if you have entered data in it. Now you created a blank database. You can start creating tables and other database objects. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.